Propaganda, violence, extremism, pedophilia, and fraud, all hidden behind the curtains of an international organization demolishing families, all the while claiming to have the one true religion, serve the one true God, and be its earthly followers. They go by the name Watchtower, but are commonly known as Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses. The greatest fear for the Watchtower right now is the, uh, this movement of the, the internet, the ex-witnesses on the internet, through putting things on the internet, in the newspapers, and on television, uh, trying to reach witnesses and let them know what, what the organization is all about. I want to help the new generation. I want to just give my little witnesses just to help the, the youth don't get trapped into it. 30 years I gave up my life, 30 years I lost. Since I left Jehovah's Witnesses and discovered the extent that this organization involves people, divides people in their families, causes people to lose their lives over issues that are not scientific, and also other problems that are in the organization, like the pedophilia. Can you imagine a little girl, 11 years old, a child, the fear that the thoughts that go into her mind when an elder, a man, that you trust, molests you. It's, it destroys everything. It destroys your whole life. I, th I think they're a sect and in some ways, a very destructive sect. I used to work at Arlington Psychological Associates in Toledo, and I was a therapist there and had a number of clients that were witnesses. And so I learned about some of the problems that they have as a result of the Watchtower Society. I personally know about a dozen people, a close family, very close friends, people in my congregation who have committed suicide. Uh, they were all Jehovah's Witnesses. My personal opinion on what the most frightening thing is that could happen to a person inside the religion is losing either a child or a close family member because of their blood policy. I pondered my son's words and clearly understood how fragile the border could be between reality and fanatical obsession, zombinized. And what I found appalled me. And so what I find, I publish. Only the facts. I do not publish my opinions. My commentary is only regarding the historical facts of the matter. And I believe that 
If you're going to give your life to religion, you certainly should know what you're giving and who you're giving your life to.